All right, guys, let's talk about the last couple things. So the hair. Um, unfortunately, in this picture, you can't really see her hair very much. So um, I'm just going to show you kind of how to make it simple and um, finish it off. But what I'll do is when you do your self-portrait, I'll have another video on technique on drawing hair. Okay. So for this, because her hair is really dark, I'm just going to use my pencil and fill it in. But um, one thing you do want to be aware of is the direction of the hair. So I'm going to assume that it's all sort of pulled back. So I'm going to, pushing really hard, I'm going to make some lines that make it look like it's being pulled back. Here I think maybe I'll go this way. So these are really heavy dark lines that eventually when I blend in it's really going to look more like the shadow in between little clumps of hair instead of actually the each individual little hair Okay, because we never want to draw that much. Okay, So then I'll take my blending stick and fill in values. I don't think she doesn't seem to have any highlights in the hair so it's all dark. So blend it all in and then what I'll do is a little bit of cleanup at the edge that sort of blends in with pencil line. Also the picture is kind of blurry and we really can't tell that much what's going on so we're just going to fake it. <clears throat> I'm going to assume she has some kind of updo. Um, and then over here maybe just a little chunk that comes down like this. Now for the ears too, we just need a little bit of value. So I'm gonna do sort of the same thing that I did for filling in the face where I use the side of my pencil to put down some graphite. Again here, it gets kind of confusing, but just a little something here and there and then I'll just use my blending stick changing the pressure to fill that in. So like I said we don't have a lot of detail in the picture but we know that something's there so that works. I think what I would have done if I was to continue and finish this, this drawing would be maybe to put in her shadow so that it's darker behind her and that would make the ears pop. Um, you don't really have to do that much unless you feel like it. <clears throat> and then for the earring I can't tell what's going on so I'm just going to fake a little bit of a shape because it is taking up that space where her lobe is. Something like that looks okay I think. It's all shiny so maybe we'll put a few eraser marks in there too. Okay. That's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the hair and then I'll post a picture of that too. Okay.